Dear students, welcome to the problem solving sessions on Jacobians. In this session, we are going to see the basic definition of Jacobian and we do some problems on Jacobian. In addition, we see the properties of Jacobians. If u and v are the functions of x and y, therefore u and v are dependent, x and y are independent. The first order partial derivatives are do u by do x, do u by do y. For my simplicity, I am taking this as u x and u y. Similarly, we can say for do v by do x is v x and do v by do y is v y. Now the Jacobian of u comma v, simply we say it as j of u comma v or j or do of u comma v divided by do of x comma y. These are all the notations we use for Jacobi. It is nothing but the determinant of their partial derivative. So better I use this. This is more convenient for me to solve the problems. ux, uy, vx, vy. And this is equal to ux, uy, vx, vy. Do you remember students in your school days to learn determinant? If you interchange all the rows into columns or columns into rows, determinant value will not change. So I am using the last formula. This is very convenient for me. Why it is convenient? When you solve the problem, you understand. Now let us see the properties of Jacobian. If u and v are the functions of x and y, that is u is a function of x, y, v is also a function of x, y. Then dou of u comma v by dou of x comma y into dou of x comma y divided by dou of u comma v is equal to 1. That means if j of u comma v and j of x comma y. I can have two Jacobians here. One is with respect to u v, the other one is with respect to x y. If I find both, then the multiplication is always 1. So, in short form, we take it as j and we will take this as j dash. Then j into j dash is always 1. The second property, if u and v are functions of x and y, u and v are functions of x and y, x and y are themselves functions of r and theta. Then I can say dou of u comma v divided by dou of r comma theta is equal to dou of u comma v divided by dou of x comma y into dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta. So u v given in terms of x y, x y given in terms of r and theta. So Jacobian of u comma v divided by r comma theta is nothing but Jacobian of u comma v with respect to x comma y and Jacobian of x comma y with respect to r comma theta. Next property, if u and v are functions of two independent variable x and y, then u and v are functionally dependent. Functionally dependent means f of u comma v is equal to 0. If and only if my Jacobian is 0. If my Jacobian is 0, if and only if f of u comma v is equal to 0. Now let us go into the example. If x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. So here x is the function of r and theta, y is the function of r and theta. Now you don't see the question student. Just understand this. x is the function of r and theta, y is the function of r and theta. Now I can write x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. Now make a table. From this, I can find only partial derivative of x with respect to r and theta partially. So just whatever the possible things you can do, just do it, then we'll go for the question. Now xr, xr means dou x by dou r is going to be cos theta. Then x theta is going to be differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta, r into sin theta. Then yr, when I differentiate this y with respect to r partially, r will become 1. I will be getting sin theta. Y theta, it is going to be R will be constant. Sin theta differentiation is cos theta. Now you see from this I can easily write the Jacobian. What is the Jacobian I, I can get from here is x is a function of r and theta. y is a function of r and theta. So I can write like dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta. Now you don't want to remember the formula. Just copy from the table. Copy the left hand side from the table. x r x theta y r y theta. So it's going to be x r x theta y r y theta. 
Now, do you remember, students, when I said the definition, I always use the determinant format at the loss because it is easy for me to remember. Now, just copy paste right hand side cos theta minus r sin theta sin theta or cos theta. Cos theta minus r sin theta sin theta and or cos theta. When you expand this r into cos square theta minus of minus plus r into sin square theta. If I take r outside, cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Therefore, my answer is Jacobi J is equal to R. Now, you can go to the question. In the question, they ask, find dou of R, comma, theta divided by dou of X, comma, Y. But from the given data, it is easy for me to find only what? My Jacobian dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta that is r but but i want to find this but i find this very simple you just use your brain whatever it is possible i just find from the given question if my question is same just leave the answer. If the question is just opposite, reciprocal to it, now what I am going to do? By the property j into j dash is equal to 1. Now what I find j is dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta. My j dash is going to be obviously dou of r comma theta divided by dou of x comma y. Therefore, j dash is equal to 1 by j. We found j is equal to r, j dash is equal to 1 by r. Simply what I am trying to say, find what is the possible solution for this. I find like this, dou of x comma y divided by dou of r comma theta that is r. But in the question, they ask the reciprocal. So simply say j into j dash is equal to 1. Therefore, write the question as j dash. j dash is equal to dou of r comma theta divided by dou of x comma y. So just reciprocal the answer and complete the problem. Is it clear? So I'll do more problem so that you will get more confident. If x equal to u into 1 plus v and y equal to v into 1 plus u, find dou of x comma y divided by dou of u comma v. Just whatever the data given to us. This is in multiplication. So I'm just writing it as u plus uv. y is equal to v plus uv. So as I said, just make the table write the given information. So now it is easy for me to find x u. Partial differentiation of x with respect to u. So 1 plus v is constant. Differentiation of u is 1. Then x v. When I differentiate with respect to v, there is no v here. It will become 0. So I don't want to write 0. This is all very obvious. So I am just leaving. I am just writing x v is nothing but u. Because first term is 0. Second term is u v. u is constant. Differentiation of v is 1. Similarly, y u is going to be v and y v is going to be 1 plus u. So step 1, you just make the information. Step 2, directly you go Jacobian. From this, I can find only x comma y divided by u comma v. Simply you can remember if you don't know what to write here. See x u x v y u y v x and y are functions of u and v. Dependent variable comes in the numerator and independent variables comes in the denominator. So now copy down the Jacobian from the table x u x v y u y v. Now 1 plus v u v 1 plus u. If you expand the determinant 1 plus v into 1 plus u minus u v. If we expand this 1 plus u plus v plus u v and you will be getting minus u v. So plus u v minus u v get cancelled. Therefore, we get the answer j is equal to dou of x comma y divided by dou of u comma v. That is 1 plus u plus v. Now just go to the question and check. This is what given in the question. If my answer and my question matches, stop. If it is not matching, take the reciprocal. That's it, student. Very simple. Now, my question matches with my answer. So, I will stop as 1 plus u plus v. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.